and I'm I just get to sit here and enjoy this roller. Holy crap! Holy crap! So hello, hello everybody, Bayside here, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very special piece of VR software I want to show you. But before I jump into that, I do want to announce that I finally got around to selecting the winner for my 300 subscriber giveaway video. I did have a total of 12 entries. And uh, in the process of recording that video, uh, I had to install some new software to get a uh, recording of the desktop here to work correctly. And I don't know what I did wrong, but I didn't record any of it. So I selected the winner. I thought it was on camera, but I, I got nothing. So I do want to go ahead and announce that Fire Alley has officially won my contest. But jumping into today's VR software, uh, I want to show you guys virtual desktop. I have a keyboard and mouse here in front of me, and I have my legs propped up. It actually, to me, feels like I'm sitting in this chair. So I have everything kind of situated just right. It, it works beautifully, and, and I'm in love. What you're looking at on the screen in front of you is my desktop. It kind of has that weird trippy effect going because uh, it's actually my desktop showing my desktop showing my desktop and it just goes off into infinity. But if I bring any sort of uh, window up here, so let me actually go ahead and bring up the virtual desktop software. So here's the settings I have right now. I'm currently running home theater, but let's just go ahead and switch it to say Starfield. So, I have my monitor here in front of me. I have it set to uh, wrap 120 degrees of, of uh, circular wrap around my face right here. It is set to a distance of approximately 2 meters away. So you can tell this is probably a, a, like a 10 foot wide monitor. If I look around, I'm uh, sitting here in space now. But there's a bunch of different things I can choose from. Like Milk Drop here is kind of trippy. And it actually comes with music too. Oh, where, where'd my monitor go? Okay, no, I'm not doing milk drop. Uh, let's do just Dark Nebula. This actually reminds me of EVE Online. Oh, I missed that game. But, I am going to go ahead and show you how this thing works. Um, as I said before, it's called Virtual Desktop, and as the name implies, it is a virtual copy of my desktop. So, in theory, I can play absolutely any game I want, even non-VR games, here in VR. Alright, so once I launch a game, I appear in this little personal home theater here. Um, I'm, I lost my chair, which kind of stinks. But I have this nice curved screen in front of me, and if I stare at the word size, I can actually adjust the size of the screen in front of me. I personally like the, uh, the large size. And then if I do recenter and look perfectly forward, the screen will recenter directly in front of me. So if I turn my chair, if my chair is at a weird angle or something, I can always have the monitor directly in front of me. And then shape here, if I switch it, this is the flat one that you saw in the home theater. And then if I switch to this, this is the curved one. I prefer curved just because it looks better. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys fact. Factorio, Factorio, I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's just a new game I picked up about a week ago, but uh, I'm actually just addicted to this game. So just to show you kind of how this works, let me go ahead and load into my game here. So here's my little character. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about this game, but uh, as you can see, this is a non-VR game being played in VR. I mean, I can only imagine how this would look if you were playing something like Overwatch or... Um, or like a World of Warcraft. Like a first person shooter, I don't know if this would be very good because you have to physically turn your head from side to side to see the edges of the screen. This would give you a disadvantage compared to the other players. But games like World of Warcraft where it's not like critical that you uh, you have split second decisions, I think this would actually be like really amazing. I could just imagine some like UI mods set up to do like World of Warcraft on this. But yeah, having said all of that, I mean this, like I said, this just works with absolutely any game you can possibly think of. As long as it plays on your monitor, it'll play here. But let me go ahead and hop out and show you a couple other things here. All right, so here I am on YouTube right now. I just wanted to show you that if you do a search for 360 video, you'll get a nice long list of 360 videos. So once the uh, 360 video starts, you'll notice YouTube gives you this little feature right here. 
and this is kind of like the Google Maps feature, I can actually turn the camera and see any direction that was at present around this camera at the time it was being filmed. I can look up, I can look down, I can spin. But before this roller coaster takes off, I'm actually going to go ahead and stop that. Because I copied the URL, and in Virtual Desktop, I can paste the URL. And now it's going to start downloading the software, which actually it looks like it already did. So, let me just wait a second. And now, I, I'm sitting here in my living room, and I can actually experience this roller coaster as if I'm sitting here for real. So I've got, apparently, some pair of ladies next to me. Um, it looks like, based on the shadow in the stand, that they have a 360 camera set up in this particular chair. And I'm, I just get to sit here and enjoy this roller coaster. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm actually grabbing my seat right now. Oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> wow. The camera shakes and everything, which is like exactly how. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Sorry, I moved the mouse there. That's why the the screen came back up. Wow. Oh, wow. This is so trippy. Ah. Okay, I'm actually getting a little bit motion sick. Okay, I gotta get out of that. So I have a new video here. It's actually for a video game that I used to play a lot. So. I'm kind of curious how this works out. Holy crap. Hi, lady. Giants and wall breakers. Great. Uh. Dude. Dude. No. We've got more troops coming. Get ready. I was born ready. And now we have Hog Riders. I think we've got this. What the hell? <laughs> Bye, dude. That's oh, someone dragon. just cast the lightning. Wow. This is sick. Ooh. They ran out of time. At least we didn't get three starred. <laughs> okay, that was cool. I gotta hand it to uh, Microcell. I think is the company that uh, that makes Clash of Clans. So that that's uh, that's pretty much a virtual desktop in a nutshell. Um, I've shown you all the the really big cool stuff. So once again, I do want to congratulate Fire Alley for winning my contest. But uh, that's about all I have for you guys today. So as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep gaming, folks. Bayside out.